if you just do paid ads all the time, it's literally shit or bust. It's not usually a coach that's used Facebook ads. It's somebody selling a Facebook ads course. If you can't get a warm audience of yours to buy from you, you are not going to be able to get a cold one to buy from you. It's almost, dare I say, it, not worth your time. All you're doing is probably making Facebook richer and yourself poorer. Hello. In this video, we're going to talk to you about how paid ads can be the savior of your online business. Bold or statement, like... bold statement. Hello guys, we're Dan and Mike from Business and Banter and we are here today to help you with your online fitness business in any way that we can. And today we're gonna to talk about paid ads. Now, some of you guys may have seen that, paid ads apparently are the savior this year. 2024's it's hot in. new ticket it's is in. in paid ads. They're backgrounding and it always cycles around, doesn't it? And uh, the moment we're talking paid ads, now as people that actually run a few paid ads, to be fair, you may have seen some of them, you may not have. We feel like we're in a good position to talk a little bit about this, where we've dabbled, we've tried things, um, but also from people who've built their business exclusively pretty much through organic marketing. Um, we feel like we're in a good position to talk about why that's probably superior to paid ads and what paid ads are actually good for. Uh, and what they're probably doing to your fitness business right now if you're trying to run them, but not getting the results you want. Yeah, I think um, I think the thing is, is the thing is, um, <laughs> they're just not very good. They're no. just shit. No, no. I, I think part of it, though, is, is also this thing of like when coaches are hit with something that they haven't tried yet. Yeah. yeah. It's that, isn't it? It's yeah. that whole like they've never delved into it themselves because it's a bit scary. You don't really know what you're doing. The Facebook ads manager can look a little bit scary and things like that. But it's that one thing that you see other people do and they've got all their adverts, all their money and all their rented Lamborghinis and all that sort of stuff. You see those guys doing it and you think, wow, well, it must be. It must be it then. Yeah. Because it's one thing I haven't tried and I'm really good. I'm amazing. And it's the one thing I haven't you, tried yet. It must be the thing I'm missing. It must be the one thing that if I did it, it would make me a multimillionaire. Um, and unfortunately, reality is that all you're doing is probably making Facebook richer and yourself poorer. And the, the person that you're paying for the course on. Like, oh, of course, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, is that they're going to make it sound good. Like, You've got to, they? Because they're selling it. They're, yeah. Like, the people that, that rave about Facebook ads, all of those people will be selling a course on it. So... We've got no hidden agenda when it comes to, to this because we can be completely unbiased because we don't have a Facebook ads course to sell, right? We've also run Facebook ads. So, so we're in a position where we can give you the honest truth about how we believe that they should be run if you're running them or, you know, and what they're actually going to do to your business. It's not usually a coach that's used Facebook ads. It's somebody selling a Facebook ads course. Rem mm -hmm. Like, just, just remember that. Like, just be critical of that and go what's their agenda is it to take cash out of my pocket mm -hmm. yes so i'm going to critically think here and go is it actually going to bring me in all of these leads mm -hmm. is it going to be the the difference to my business that that they're promising because if it was everybody would be doing it right and if it was well we'd be teaching it wouldn't mm -hmm. we yeah i think the the key thing to to remember is to just to just to almost like reverse engineer it and go right well what do paid ads do Paid ads get more eyes onto your content or onto your um, services, onto your product, onto your business effectively. That's what you do when you do paid advertising. You're effectively paying someone for their audience and you're basically saying, I want to pay you some money to put my stuff in front of more people. Sounds great, doesn't it? But what I believe Facebook ads do and paid advertising in general is it just amplifies what's currently going on in your business. So if you're currently getting very few leads, if you're currently not clear on your message, if your content isn't good, if your content isn't niche specific, if you aren't sharing much of you, your values, what you're about, your journey, all those things, and you aren't getting any clients currently, and you've decided to do paid ads, you're going to get more of the same. It, it makes sense. You're just getting more eyes on something that isn't working. What's the point of that? Again, like Mike said, all you're doing is making the Facebook ads course guy richer or girl or whatever. Women are... Facebook ad sellers, yeah, apparently as well <laughs> as they can be, Anyone and can and, be. and you're making Mark Zuckerberg richer, but you know by by default as well with that. So it's important to remember that all you're going to do is amplify your current message, which is why it's taken us this long to get into Facebook ads and stuff like that because we've got a product that we now know works, is effective, and we believe would work well if we were to put ads behind it because we know that we've sold X number of people into our members group over two hundred. Thanks very much. Um, people in there we've got that many people there. so we kind of go okay organically we've done that we know that organically our pages draw attention they get good engagement people like our content like you watching this it makes sense for us to go we now need more people to see our message that's kind of what we need we've refined it over time it's pretty clear what we stand for 
it makes sense. But what we see is we see clients come in and go, oh, I'm not really getting any leads through the door. I think I'm going to try Facebook ads. Mm. Just think about that for a second. Just think about it based on what I've just said. Is that going to help? If you put 60,000 people, right, watching Vanarama, Premier League, South Division, Dartford versus Ebbsfleet, they're not coming back a second time, 60,000 of them. You might pay to get them there one time, but they ain't coming back. That's the example I'm going to use here for those of you that don't know non-league football. They're two teams that play down south and they're not very good. <laughs> um, are they in the same league? If they are, that's impressive. I don't think they are, to be fair. Okay. I just know that they're local and they're close. Yeah, it's you know, they're, cup time. Early, it's, early it's, round. Exact early round, preliminary round, right? Yeah. But like people won't watch it. They won't come back. You might get in there once as a one-off, freebie, whatever. And it's the same thing with your ads. It's like you're getting 60,000 people view an ad that's shit. Well done. You paid a lot of money to do it. No one's coming back. That's, in my opinion, what paid ads do when you put money behind them. Yeah, I think um, I, I think what coaches think is going to happen is they think or they can't work out why that they're not getting consistent leads because they think that their content is is all right. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I'm making I'm making posts. I'm, yeah. I'm making them. I'm, I'm I posted Instagram up. this week. Okay. I'm posting. Mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm doing that. I'm a, I'm a good coach. I'm one of the best actually. Like that's what coaches think and they think it's the Facebook ads that's missing. Honestly, it's not. Like, it, it really isn't. Um, do you know how, like, there's this kind of, like, feeling around going on, on on gear when you've maxed out naturally, right? Where where somebody's supposed to have maxed out naturally and then you add steroids on top of that, you're probably going to get superior results. Like, there was this, I don't know whether it's still talked about, but certainly a, a couple of years ago, that was the the, the, the the feeling. It's the same thing, is that if you take steroids and your nutrition is shit, you don't know how to train, um, you're inconsistent with your training, don't expect them to to work. Like, don't expect to get any results of it. You're going to still look garbage, Like, but you've just got acne as well yeah. and tiny testicles. Um, <laughs> uh, I've got tiny testicles, but not for that reason. <laughs> it's to say, yeah. um, it matches my penis. So. <laughs> all, all in proportion. proportion. <laughs> so yeah. it's fine. They're, they're all small, you know. Um, <laughs> That's what that that's basically what what you're doing. So you need to make sure that you are the equivalent of training effectively. Your mm. nutrition is dialed in. Your activity levels are good. Your sleep is good. Your hydration is good, and you've been doing it consistently for years, and you've gotten results from it. And then you can add the things on top of that. So it's the same and, thing as this. And arguably, like again, I'm not that I know huge amounts about steroids, obviously, um, by looking at me, is that it's then also such a small dose is needed to see gains and to see progress. Yeah. And it's the same thing. It's like you need a little bit, right? Rather than just going more and more and more and actually not fixing the bigger problem. Like it's just, I see the same thing people putting more and more behind ads, and it's like <laughs> it's like that. Like um, what's it? What is it? It's like the the sunk cost fallacy. It's like, I'll just put more on. Yeah. I'll just put more on. It's like no, that's that's not going to help you, right? In this in this situation, and it's just this concept with people. Like we talk about it all the time in terms of content and organic content is that you're trying to get people to know, like, and trust you. And my whole argument with this is that if you can't get a warm audience of yours to buy from you, you are not going to be able to get a cold one mm -hmm. to buy from you. They know you less, they like you less, they trust you less. You're just a random Facebook ad. And it's this whole assumption that we've talked about with cold DMs and random message people on Instagram. People that follow you and within two days, they want to reach out and want to sign up for coaching. They're never the best clients because they don't know you. They don't know what you're about. They don't know your values. And much in the same way that we say about cold DMing people and just getting anyone on a call and sign anyone up, you're effectively doing that with ads. You're effectively just going straight away, cold pitch, here you go, here's something I want you to buy. And you've got to remember that those people are never going to last as long. They're never going to stick around. They're never going to want it as much. They're never going to be on brand with your message. You're not going to get a year-long retention. Unlikely, you're going to get a year-long retention for people who've, who've joined from an ad because they just want the result you've sold them on that ad. They don't want to know more about you. They don't care about you. They haven't joined because they think you're, you'd be a good person to spend time with and chat with and get on with you because of your background and you know your history and your journey as well within that. And that's one of the reasons that our clients get such good retention and why when we were doing fat loss, we got such good retention was because they'd followed us for years. People mm -hmm. often reach out to us, even now, followed you for years, just now's the right time to reach out. Only with ads, you do not get that followed you for years. You just get that, I want a six pack. I want to lose weight in eight weeks. Mm -hmm. There's an eight week thing. I'm just, okay, it's only going to cost 150 quid. I'll join it. And they're, they're just never good quality clients for that reason, that they just don't know you as well. And they don't know that sort of thing. And even when we look at what we've done with some ads, right? So delving into that a little bit, like we put a fair chunk of money behind ads for the members group. Now, as you guys know, it's £100 a month. Links below if you want to join it. You don't need an ad for this one, it's organic. But we've we've put that in front of people, that, that £100 a month advert. 
And the people that we've had sign up, they're often the people that will join and within a couple of weeks they will cancel. And again, nothing wrong with that. What, what we've seen from the data is that they're more likely to do that if they've come from an ad than if they come from organic, which makes complete sense. We expect that, completely expect it. And we actually, again, looking at the numbers of, of the data and you have to do it for long term, again, with the Facebook ads, you can't just do it for a month and go, it didn't work. You have to give Facebook time to, to learn about your ads, learn about your business, learn about the audience you want to reach. We have to do it for about a year to, until you can really kind of get to, to grips with, okay, what are the numbers, is it worth it? But I genuinely don't think that we're going to make money off them. I think in the long term, I don't think, I think we might, might, might break even, might get a few more eyes on our stuff. That's my gut feeling with it, my gut instinct with it, is that over time we might, in the long run, it might pay off. But certainly in the short term, if you just look at the numbers, most of you would have looked at the numbers straight away and cancelled them within two months, based yeah. on what we saw, put it that way. Yeah, I think... Um, um it will bring in some clients, like like Dan said. It will get some in, but do you know all the clients that you currently moan about mm -hmm. that aren't checking in, that aren't really bought in, that uh, leave after six weeks, right? Yeah. It gets more of those people in. Like, like genuinely. Because if you think about who buys from a Facebook ad, it is a knee-jerk decision. It is want that type attitude um, without actually knowing, like Dan said, what's involved like really they're signing up to something that they don't know what's involved and you kind of go okay so they pay you 150 quid but you would have paid x amount of money anyway to to get them in you know through the door and it's almost dare i say not worth your time because they'll be the people that in five six seven weeks that they drop off and then you moan about it mm -hmm. so that expect that to happen i like, expect it to happen it, it will pull some people in but it it will not build you the business that, that you want that lasts, that stays for years. It's just built on unshaky foundations. Because if you're building your business based off of that, what are you going to have to continue to do? You're going to have to continue to run ads. So then you're going to have to continue to deal with shit clients. Mm. So, and it'll be, you need the ads to replace the shit ones that are dropping off. And then it's a self-fulfilling, like, it's like a, a cycle that you can't that you can't get out of. So So stop it. Yeah. If you are going to run ads, run it for awareness, like what we would do. Once everything is set up, once you've got a, a good funnel, so a solid gold lead magnet, you've got a lower cost product, you've got um, a really good premium service, you're signing people up organically and they're staying, they're being retained. The funnel, the funnel. I hate the word, but the, I guess it is, the funnel is working and people are coming through the different stages. Like once that's done, just some of your best organic posts get more eyes on them. Like something that stands out, something that's different, something that shows your personality, something that's you, get more eyes on them and pull more people to your page so that they can then hit the follow button and they can build a relationship with you over two, three, four months so they get your free lead magnet that then they might make the decision to jump on the next group coaching or whatever it is. Mm. That's the way that you do it. I see so many coaches that are on the, um, on my stories on Instagram where it's like, sign up to my eight week program, just um, one, one, five, nine or whatever tailored nutrition plan and tailored training program and check-ins and you're just like that is not the way to do it like that's so not the way to do it and and also as well like you'll see some of these people that talk about these these ads and they talk about just the financial size of so let's say for example you sell nine nine seven packages for three months it might cost you say 400 quid to get a sale Again, I don't know the exact numbers, obviously, and I'm sure that you can get them cheaper than that. But let's just say on a, on a roundabout, in a roundabout way, you have to spend £400 on ads to get enough people to click on the ads, to get enough people to follow through with the call, to book in for a call, and then to actually sign up with you. Let's just say roughly it costs 400 quid. Now, most people out there would sell you, well, yeah, but you're 500 quid up. And I kind of look at it and go, okay, but the amount of effort, aggro, and shit you've had to go through for that... And then you still got to coach them. And you've got to coach them, by the way, for that 500 quid. And that's what that's the thing they don't do, isn't it? For that's the three thing. months. That's the thing they don't do for the three months. So you then go, okay, how much am I actually paid for this person? 150-odd quid a month to, to coach them. And again, they're not bought in. They don't re-sign up. They don't carry on. But you've got to do that forever. You've got to do that forever. So let's say you need... So let's say you get 10 sign-ups a month on that model, which means you'd be spending four grand minimum on ads to get in 10 grand. And yet you've got our clients who are doing that organically without having to worry about the ads that are the right fit 
better fit for them. Just takes a little bit longer to get them in and they stay longer and they don't have to do that all the time because the leads come to them organically. They don't have to worry about Facebook ads not working. They don't have to worry about all that out, all those outgoings. You'll, you'll hear people say that and when I look at it like that, I'm like, that's just purely a numbers business that you don't care about the quality of your coaching. You don't care about your message. You don't care about what you stand for, your journey, the results you're getting with people, who you help. It just becomes about making that small bit of profit, which is, again, if that's all you're bothered about, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So it's not really a huge problem. But it's just, you're at the mercy then of how much Facebook charge for their ads then. What if that goes up by double? Well, you can't charge double the amount for three months coaching. It just won't work. And you're always at the mercy when you do that and you focus on just, just solely the numbers of, of just a business that's on, like Mike said, shaky foundations, where it's like you're, you're relying on someone else's platform that's hopefully working for you. Um, and, and a lot of coaches don't have that capital to invest because I think that's the amount you do need to, to, to kind of figure this shit out is the amount of testing involved. You're looking at spending three, four, five grand a month. Again, unless Mike said you're just doing like an awareness ad where you do like £10 a day just to get more eyes on your best pieces of content. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, why not, why not give that a go? But again, do you know what you're looking for? Do you know what numbers to look for? Do you know what metrics to track? Probably not. It's the thing is, it's just, it's just such a minefield. I don't think coaches are aware of how much money needs to be spent to kind of see the returns that they want. I've got two, um, two coaches, both doing similar revenues. So um, I actually brought this up in one of my updates yesterday with the, a coach who runs ads, basically. So he runs ads and he sells, he has a £3,000 package up front for, for two months. So he's, he's had this before me and um, prior to me. Um, we've introduced a second package that's slightly lower and a bit more watered down to, to kind of capture, to capture people off that, right? So he runs Facebook ads, £3,000. He'd had nine signups in the last month. And the conversation on our update was how he needs more leads because um, he'd had a worse month this month than he had last month. Yet with nine signups in July, basically. He'd had nine signups in July, which is which is quite good. And my point was, is I got up Greg, my other client, so doing very similar revenues. And I said, Greg's also had nine signups this month. I was like, but Greg's had a record month. And Greg's gonna have another record month next month. And he's gonna have another record month the month after, and another record month the month after. I was like, because his are all coming in organically, they're all bought in. They're niche specific. It's recurring revenue that um, they're not paid up front and, and dropping off in, in two months. So he's had nine signups. So my point was is that how can two businesses doing the same revenue, one of them saying that they need to have double the amount of lead generation they have to make their business grow, and the other one actually just hitting a record record month on month to month. That's the difference between building a business that in Greg's case is incredibly stable, um, that grows month on month, that has got a clear direction and something that you probably could put an ad behind at some stage. And then the other business, which is still a good business, don't get me wrong, it's still a good, it's still a good amount of revenue, but it feels less secure. It feels very much built on sales. So if you don't organically get the sales that you need, which is unlikely, right, because nine's quite high, um, you're then forced into Facebook ads you then put the, the money on for Facebook ads, you then reducing your profit margin, you're then getting people through the door for the sake of it that then just drop off in two months' time that exacerbate the issue. Plus the pressure there is on the sales. Yeah. Whereas if Greg doesn't get those nine signups, he still has a really good month. Same Not record right. maybe, but still a very good one. Yeah. Whereas if you don't make those nine signups for three grand up front, you get nothing that month. That is not a good place to be in, in terms of your business. I don't think mentally having to need to make sales. And we come back to this all the time, talk about leads all the time. People say, oh, I need more leads in. And I'm like, if you're getting two calls booked a week, trust me, lead gen ain't your problem. Yeah. Trust yeah. me, right? That's what I had to say. And coaches talk about this all the time. I've seen mentors say, oh, if you're not getting five leads a day, your business is going to fail. It's like, if you need five a day, your fucking business has got more problems than that. Like, you, you, know, you obviously can't keep a client. You're obviously selling too much, you know, uh, too, too high a price and that sort of stuff. Because a lot of people need this many calls booked in because they're selling that high. So again, I don't know how many calls you needed booked in to get nine sales. You basically want 20 calls booked a month. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's some going. 20 call is some going and like you just said there where it's like I can have some clients not book a call in for a month and their business still grows really well because again when you look at other metrics like okay during that month their email list grew um, their followers grew their engagement grew and then when they launched a group coaching a month after they've got an engaged email list of people so it doesn't matter they didn't make any sales because they're going to get more from the group coaching because they got another product which leads into one to one yeah. whereas if you just do paid ads all the time it's literally shit or bust it's shit or bust on those calls and on those sales. It's just not a good place to be. So I think it's 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 more than just saying, we're not saying like all ads are shit, like we're not, but what we're saying is it's not going to fix the problem that you've probably got. 
and they're trying to sell you the dream that it's going to fix that problem. And like, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting more eyes on your page if your current business is really good. So like, for example, Greg there, could he do well doing 20 pound a day ads to raise awareness? Probably. Does he need to? No, he doesn't need to. Like he could do, but again, I know Greg's niche is quite specific, so it might be quite difficult to find those people on on, on Facebook and, and allowing Facebook ads to do that. I don't know. But the point is he doesn't need to. And he doesn't look at it because like, it doesn't, doesn't bother me. Like, I'm doing all great organically. Why not just, just keep it that? So my point is it's that last ditch desperation attempt thinking you're missing out on something, but trust me, you, you're not. It is only going to amplify what you already have, in my opinion. I think that's the key thing to take away from it. That's it. So um, we should have done this call to action way before this because uh, barely anybody's watching it. But if, if you liked it, um, like it. That's part of it, isn't it? Always like um, it. Subscribe it? to the channel. Um, we're, we're almost at three and a half thousand now. We're growing, about. mate. We're growing. Um, Always growing. And um, Join the members group. Join the members group. Links below. That's it. There you go. Simple. See you.